वेलकम टू लेक्चर सेवन सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न रिगार्डिंग द साइक्लिक ओल्टामेट्री एंड वी केम टू नो द प्लॉट ऑफ द साइक्लिक ओल्टामेट्री हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू गेट ओके लाइक दिस एंड द होल टेक्निकल पॉइंट्स विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस साइक्लिक ओल्टामेट्री इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न ओके and today uh, so we will go for the next concept of the cyclic voltammetry now the important parameter so if you see the important parameter in this cyclic voltammetry plot are the peak of uh, peak potential we can say as we said peak potential okay and that is denoted by epc or e p a okay and the peak current peak potential and the peak current denoted by i p c and i p a current of anodic peak and cathodic peak or emf of cathodic peak or anodic peak okay and this is what the uh, the peaks with the, the respective peaks we can see the points we are going to get from this uh, Uh, from this uh, graph here so cyclic voltammetry now if the electron transfer process so we see that the main thing is what here electron transfer process okay if the electron transfer process is fast compared with the other process such as diffusion okay so if the electron transfer process is fast compared to some other process like uh, diffusion so what happens here now so the reaction is said to be electrochemical reversible so when this is happening whatever the reaction is now said to be the reaction is said to be uh, here the electrochemical reversible electrochemically reversible electrochemically reversible so this thing you have to keep in the mind reversible okay if the electron transfer uh, process obtained in the electrochemical cell is faster than some other process like diffusion then the reaction is said to be electrochemically electrochemical reversible and the peak separation is given by delta ep is equal to epa minus ep of c which is equal to that is your 2.303 rt by nf so this is for the reversible process okay so always the difference in the potential the reaction the electrochemical reversible and the peak separation whatever we are going to get separation peak separation is equal to the epa that is anodic peak uh, emf minus cathodic peak emf which should be equal to 2.303 rt by nf this is for the reversible process thus for reversible redox reaction if you see thus for reversible redox reaction at 25 degree centigrade so delta ep if you calculate for this parameter 2.303 rt by nf so it comes to be uh, 0.0591 volts okay or about uh, about around 60 millivolt okay 60 millivolt for one electron transfer for one electron transfer for one electron transfer this is a value what for which we get it for the reversible uh, reaction here in practice so this value is difficult whatever this value we are should get is very difficult to attain because of uh, some factor of cell resistance okay if uh, uh, this factor of the cell resistance so we may not get this required uh, required value so somewhat uh, this is what we can see uh, but to the level we are going to get this away for the reversible reaction now for irreversible due to slow reaction if you say now irreversible reaction which is slow reaction okay for the concept uh, for the concept of the slow reaction electron transfer the rate results here whatever the rate we are going to get is results here which that is your delta ep is greater than 0.0592 volt so here the the difference here delta ep is going to get uh, the in the 0.059 uh, greater than 0.059 volt or i can say 70 millivolt okay this is for irreversible uh, reaction here 
So uh, for a one electron, same for a one electron electron transfer. Now the formal reduction potential that is your E naught, the formal reduction potential for the reversible complex, the formal redu reduction potential for reversible complex, okay, formal reduction potential is given by E naught is equal to EPC plus EPA divided by 2. This is what uh, the reversible standard electro potential or formal reversible uh, complex uh, potential of a reversible complex is given by the average value of the cathodic peak current, uh, potential plus anodic flow divided by uh, 2 and for a reversible reaction the concentration is related to the peak current and for a reversible reaction if I take it here the concentration for a reversible reaction the concentration related concentr related peak concentration related peak uh, peak current okay concentration related peak current concentration related peak current is uh, uh, is given by this word you have to understand that is Randall's Sevesic expression at 25 degree centigrade okay Randall's Sevesic, Sevesic expression at 25 degree centigrade by by the formula IP IP which is equal to 2.686 into 10 to the power of 5 n 3 to the 3 by 2 a into c naught d half v half so this is equation uh, given uh, given by the help of or a reversible expression for the by uh, by the by the randall's sevic sevic expression okay it is called as randall's so sick expression at 25 degrees centigrade where ip is a peak current in ampere so this ip is a peak current in ampere a means what ampere here and your a is electrode area so whatever the a you are going to get is a electrode area okay uh, that is the centimeter square given in centimeter square d is diffusion coefficient whatever d is there this is your diffusion coefficient okay diffusion uh, coefficient that is centimeter square per second centimeter square per second and c naught is concentration so where is c naught here this is your c naught this is the concentration in moles per centimeter cube okay moles per centimeter cube so this is your concentration uh, given and n is scan rate in volts so this n is a scan rate which is particular in the done in the uh, in volts okay volts per second so this is what about the I can say the, uh, the Randall's uh, Sevic Sevic expression for a reversible reaction uh, related to the concentration and the peak current. So this is how the expression we get it here. Now, if you get the application part of the CV, okay, this CV can be used qualitative and quantitative, qualitative and quantitative, quantitative information about electrode process about electrode or like I say electrochemical process about electrochemical process under certain conditions under conditions such as uh, under conditions such as presence of intermediate presence of intermediate I will write this way presence of intermediate in redox reaction in redox reaction okay the reversibility of a reaction that is a redox reaction the reversibility of a reaction so this is what the first application we can say now if you go for a second it is rarely used for quantitative really used for quantitative for the quantitative determination but widely used in the study of but widely used in study of the redox of reaction study of redox of reaction under under the uh, the intermediate and for obtaining stability for obtaining stability of reaction this cv can be used also to determine the cv can also used to also to determine diffusion coefficient diffusion coefficient of analyte diffusion coefficient of analyte and formal reduction potential and formal uh, reduction potential which can be used as an identity 
identification tool which can be used as a identification uh, identification uh, which can be used for the identification uh, tool okay so this is how uh, we can uh, uh, we can study some of the applications of this cv now so finally so perform to perform cv uh, what is used to perform cyclic voltammetry electrolyte solution is first added so if you take electrolyte solution is first added maybe kno3 or something like that is added the electrolyte solution is required is added to electrochemical cell if you take this uh, is beaker or some container so first electro uh, electrolyte solution is added here uh, in the electrochemical cell along with the reference solution uh, of the three electrodes okay so three electrodes so this is a broad opening here and the three electrodes is added here along with uh, a potential stat okay so we require potential stat okay it is something like that as we have learned already so this is what your three electrodes in this way and this is your solution electrolyte solution here okay and this uh, is your working electrode which is a gold film you can take this is your reference electrode and this is your counter electrode and this is been treated for potential stat connected to potential stat in this way okay so this is your electrochemical solution this is your electrochemical solution and uh, which consists of the analyte electrolyte and solvent okay so this consists of analyte plus electrolyte plus solvent so this is what is taken here and three electrodes are placed and this has been potential stat is there and then you are going to switch on and you are to we are going to take the uh, computerized graph uh, of the cv here so here first a potential stat here so this is important a potential stat uh, whatever the potential stat it is used uh, for linearly sweeping the potential this potential stat is used for linearly sweeping the potential linearly sweeping the potential uh, sweep the potential between working electrode and reference electrode until it reaches a preset limit until it reaches a preset uh, limit at which point it is swept back in opposite direction so once it reaches the uh, particular limit after that it will uh, after that it is uh, swept back to opposite direction like this it is set back to opposite direction so this is what work done by the potential stat the process is repeated multiple time here so this process is repeated multiple time during a scan and changing current between <coughs> during a time and changing current between the working potential working electrode and uh, uh, working electrode and the counter probes <coughs> and the counter electrode and this is measured by a device in the real time okay this is what the, how the work is done and the results is characterized uh, characteristic whatever from this the results what we are going to get is characteristic is a characteristic duck shape plot duck shape plot so this is what okay characteristic a duck shape plot and called as cyclic voltammogram so whatever we are going to get in this way which is also a duck shape plot is called as cyclic voltammogram voltammogram cyclic voltammogram so this is what and choosing the electrode is very much important here polishing and choosing the electrode while uh, is important here now here the working electrode if you see the potential stat is used to control the applied potential so here potential stat is whatever we are using is used to control applied potential of working electrode applied potential of working electrode as a function of <coughs> as a function of reference uh, reference electrode potential okay so it is composed this is composed of redox inert material uh, usually and uh, and uh, whatever the range uh, we are interested so that uh, inert material in potential range uh, we can keep it for the uh, that is been taken care by this uh, uh, potential stat now the type of working electrode uh, as i said in the previous video that it depends on the <coughs> on you can say on the different uh, 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 experiment to experiment okay so this is what now if we go for one of the example of uh, taking an example how it works FeCN6 that is your 3 minus where iron is in plus 3 so it is going to go with uh, uh, one electron process here 
so this is going to uh, now reduce to form Fe Cn64 minus so where iron is in plus 2 state now here plus 3 is reduced to plus 2 and uh, here downwards we can see uh, plus 2 is oxidized to plus 3 here okay now if you run the graph of this combination of this uh, 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 of this uh, ferricyanide uh, complex here in the solution form so you can see that you are going to get something in this way like this and here like this so this is what as already we have learned in the previous so this now here if i sweep it from negative to positive think it here in the example previous video i showed from positive to negative now i will take it here as a negative to positive sweeping now what will happen this is forward scan now and when negative and anodic potential then this becomes here what oxidation so here you can see here fe cn6 4 minus which is plus 2 uh, 4 yeah 4 plus 2 stay so it will be oxidized to fe cn6 3 minus where it is plus 3 state okay so here you can see minus electron so it will lose one electron here and fe plus 2 is oxidized to fe plus 3 here okay so this is called oxidation anodic potential so this is a uh, upper here this is called oxidation anodic potential okay or anodic current here ipa we represented ipa and when this is reached from positive again sweeping back you are going to get here reduction so here there is reduction where fe cn6 4 minus that is where iron is plus 3 here 3 minus that is plus 3 is uh, reduced by taking one electron which is left here plus electron from here so it is going to form fe cn6 4 minus so from plus 3 it is uh, reduced to plus 2 here okay so this is your reduction potential so this is applied potential e versus current so this plot you are going to get in this way now the redox potential here e okay so e which is given e not half which is equal to as i said i current of p cathodic okay plus e p of a divided by 2 so this is your e naught we get it here in this way and peak separation if you take peak separation uh, so it is given by delta e p which is equal to e of p a minus e of p c so which is i said as in previously this one that is equal to 0 0.059 by n old at 25 degree centigrade here and peak current ratio peak current ratio so it is given by ipa by ipc so this is how uh, i think uh, more than sufficient with example and previous we have seen how it works and uh, this is how i think we have covered maximum all points with respect to cyclic voltammetry so only thing is what if any problems uh, we observe based on the uh, computer examination so that we can solve it okay uh, with respect to this uh, third unit regarding tga or dta or dsc and followed by cv okay so this all thing we have to solve the uh, the net uh, competitive problems so that we will see once we complete this uh, this chapter thank you